Reports indicate that the Boardwalk Gorge has been closed. Police and fire personnel have locked the gates leading to the Boardwalk Gorge in St. Catherine as a result of rising waters and falling trees. It was observed that the damaged area of St. Catherine had a fire truck blocking a section of the road. The police are also trying to maintain their presence in the vicinity. Police of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management is reporting that 70 individuals from various sections of Olaba Bay in St. Catherine have been evacuated whilst Hurricane Beryl is passing through. Odpem said that the police in St. Catherine South Division spearheaded the process and have transported the residents to the Olaba High School, which is the designated shelter for the area. Olaba Bay is located on the coast of St. Catherine. The southern section of the island is expected to be significantly impacted by this still dangerous Category 4 storm. The Meteorological Service of Jamaica in its 11 a.m. bulletin said that a burial was forecast to pass near or over the island's southern coastline from east to west between 12 noon and 8 p.m. today. Residents of the parish of Hanover are awaiting the impact of Hurricane Beryl. Whilst the eastern parishes of Jamaica have been drenched by rain and rocked by strong, heavy winds, things have been quiet in the parish of Hanover. The residents of this parish are waiting for Beryl to travel from east of Jamaica to the western sections. A number of identified emergency shelters within the parish remain active. Currently, there are 55, and the Disaster Preparedness Coordinator for the parish has been in touch with all shelter managers. It was further stated that they have only been getting a slight drizzle from this morning, and they are watching the situation and hoping that it remains the same. Fisher folks have yielded to warnings that have been issued and have brought their vessels to safe grounds. Continue to be safe, Jamaica. Goodbye.